And another thing that we both learned is, what do you know? When you apply effort and you show up consistently, <laughs> crazy. your business can improve. So yeah. we have seen great, great, great improvement. The ROI is very high. And that's something where we are both so afraid to try. And now that we've tried, we're like, why don't we do that sooner? Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's been cute. Like, that's probably the biggest thing is like, it's worth it to try and spend the right. time on it. Yeah, and I think that there was a lot of people prior to us doing this that were like, I, I love physique development. I have no idea who these people are. Mm -hmm. Like they give such great information and um, like we see all the quality results that they have. They post side by sides, all these things, but I don't know them. And this has given people an opportunity who were on the fence or have been following for a long time. Like I can't express how many of the individuals of the uh, inquiring clients that I've gotten on calls with over the past 10 weeks or so that have all been like, I've followed you guys for three years. And I like just getting to see you guys over these past couple of weeks has pushed me over the edge to finally inquire. Like I've opened up the inquiry form tens of times, mm -hmm. tens of, like not a hundred probably, but <laughs> tens of times. And in that they finally took the plunge solely just for us showing up more. And that was, I mean, a lot of people have been in that same boat. So that's been a really cool experience to understand that and just the ROI and like the self-fulfillment as well. Yeah. Like I, I find a lot of um, enjoyment in documentation. Like I, I wish that I had a film of my entire life. Like I, I love that aspect and having this in place and we have basically every day filmed for the last 10 weeks. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and so that is a really cool component for me to, to have that uh, moving forward and all like, it's just been such a fulfilling thing. And also to be doing it with individuals who I dearly, dearly enjoy to be around um, has been so cool. Yeah. And that's what I was going to bring it back around of you saying that you had so much anxiety towards creating content. And I did as well. Obviously, that's why we didn't create it. And now like both of us are having so much fun. Like I look forward to the days that we get to record the podcast. I actually wish like we could record twice a week because yeah. I love recording this podcast so much. And I've loved doing the the day in the life that we did that's on YouTube. And you haven't seen it, we'll link it in the show notes and there's going to be another one coming out with Alex. So we'll link that in the show notes too. But I did that one and I'm like, when's the next one? Like, let's yeah. do it again. Or oh, I want to get more footage of this and I want to do this. Or like now when I am scrolling on Instagram, it's of the purpose of creativity, not of this draining thing that you're talking or the draining aspect that you're talking about. I'm looking and I might see a trend or see a way someone did something. And I'm like, I really love how they did that. How can I make it my own? And it's this fun challenge to be working on. And it's so crazy because it went from this being this dreaded thing that I like never wanted to spend time on or I felt was just so time consuming. And then it turns into this thing where I wish I had more time to do it. Like I wish I could just spend a whole month not doing anything else, but like creating stuff yeah. like this. Like that would be so much fun to me. Yeah. And it just took me pushing and trying. And when we started, like if you look at the first reels that like we created with like Daniel and Miguel to now, like they've only just gotten better and better and better. And like, it's just so cool to see that over the time and to see us come into ourselves within that.